Welcome to the screencast in which we will uh, transfer spherical coordinates to rectangular XYZ coordinates. So let's start with the drawing of a sphere, which in most parts is a model of the Earth. So we have um, the Z axis up, we have a X axis here. We have the meridian, and um, so from here it, the x-axis is getting out of the sphere. Uh, from here on we have the y-axis. So it's important if you turn the x-axis towards the y-axis, it gives it uh, the rule of thumb, it gives an upward z-axis. That should be correct. So um, we put it here in this way. So this should be more. So this should go here through that point. So, so here we have the equator. And then we have a given point on the sphere. A new meridian. Say we have the point P over there. So the question is, what are the spherical coordinates of point P? So first thing you can do is um, in the horizontal of the uh, equator plane, we draw a line and uh, an angle, theta. So if you drop a line from point P, it will end somewhere on that line. Not, uh, not here, because P is more inward. So we can make another line here to P and the angle over there will be the phi. Um, but mathematically spoken, we don't, do not take the phi. We rather use here the angle with the uh, z-axis phi as a capital, something like that. So in this case, we do not take the latitude. We, we take the mathematical angle between the vertical z axis. So um, we need one more thing and that is actually the radius of the midpoint of the earth to p over here this point and this radius is called rho radius. Okay so let's zoom a little bit out because it's not quite clear. So we have here the uh, z-axis and we have here the axis of say uh, in the direction of P um, in blue we have the meridian of P and the circle and which P is so we have the radius from uh, rho from the midpoint of the earth towards P over here okay and we saw that the angle between the vertical z-axis and uh, rho, that is v, something like that. Okay, now we can do some interesting things because when we drop a line here with a angle, um, with a right angle, we get somewhere like p accent. And actually this is the point here where P accent where uh, point P meets this line here in the equator uh, plane. So I would like to know this distance uh, because uh, in the next uh, uh, picture where we will draw the, uh, well maybe should draw it differently, this is the z-axis, uh, maybe draw it where it's drawn here. So this is y and this is x. This is how you see it in the picture over there, um, something like that. The, this is the line on which we have the point P, somewhere over there, P accent. And um, the distance, this distance, which I would like to know, is the same as the distance over here. Okay. And again, this is the midpoint of the Earth. So question, what is this distance from M 
to p accent that will be something like well if you go to this picture here we can say well the angle phi would also be there this is um, I can calculate the distance and p accent by using a sinus so we have the sinus of phi is something like m p accent divided by rho gives us m p accent is rho times the sinus of phi okay fill it in here so this is a rho times the sinus of phi if i want to know my x and i coordinates i can see here that if we go with a straight uh, right angle over here this would give my x coordinate and that would give my y coordinate having said that we know this angle because this is theta same as over there see um, and we have a theta there as well z angles so the x coordinate would be here um, uh, this part so the x coordinate is nothing uh, else than from m to x which is um, m p accent times the cosinus of theta okay we fill in this part over there so we get uh, is rho sinus phi times cosinus theta more or less the same thing for the y coordinate the y coordinate is um, this part over here which is the same as that part and we have here in this angle then the sinus part so we have um, mp accent times the sinus of theta is rho times sinus phi times sinus theta something like that so the only thing we don't know yet is the z coordinate but i have it in the picture here because the z coordinate is nothing else than uh, this part i can calculate that yes um, you can see here i have this radius uh, rho i have an angle here so i can say z equals something rho times cosinus uh, phi okay so z is rho times cosinus phi okay um let's do some calculations if we have uh, spherical coordinates say rho theta phi something like 4 uh, p divided by 3 p divided by 4 i should be able to calculate the x y z so that's the thing you could do yourself filling in the x y z and the angles and make sure that you choose degrees instead of radians you would get something like uh, x is four times uh, half times square two times a half which will probably be a square two y is four times a half square two times half square three which is square root of six and z will be something like four times a half square root of two which is two square root of two okay something like this so try this yourself filling in these coordinates and then you will be able to transform from spherical coordinates to rectangular coordinates thanks for watching